Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing all of you how to create custom subtitles with a background and a image icon on the site inside of DaVinci Resolve 18. Okay, so first off, the usual way of creating subtitles would be to right click on the track and add a subtitle track and then create the subtitles there. But in this video, we're actually going to be using a basic text title. And the reason for that is because the subtitles always show on top of underlying video layers. So if you want an image to show on top of the subtitles, then you're going to need to use it as a video track instead of a subtitle track. So video track one will be our standard video background. And then I'm going to add a couple tracks here. So let's right click add. This is going to be the subtitle track. And then up here, one more. So let's start creating the subtitles. So let's start creating the subtitles. I'm going to go to the effects library and we're going to look for titles and then text. Uh, you could also use text plus, but text is just easier to use and understand. So we'll drag this onto the timeline where we want to start writing some subtitles. Now, generally, if you're doing subtitles, it's at the bottom of the screen. So if we click on our text title, we can go to the position setting and pull this down to the bottom of the screen. So just lower the Y value until it's in the bottom third, wherever you want to position it. Change the size so that it's a little bit smaller because that's going to be too big for writing out full sentences. And you can select the font that you want. So I'll just select one that I like. Okay, now in order to add a background to our subtitles, you're going to use this background section here in the title. So take the height and increase this and you'll see the background for our text appear. Now you can leave it this wide if you want to, but, but you can also make it smaller by bringing the width value down a little bit. And in order to add a border to our text, we need to increase our outline width. So you'll see a solid color appear on the outside of this little bubble. So if you want to change the color here, you can do that quite easily. Color for the main background and then outline color is the border color. So I'll start with the border color. Let's change it to something like red up here. And then let's click on color for the main background. And we will change it to something else. So you could use blue, black, some kind of violet purple or anything else you want. But black is a really solid color choice, especially if you're going to be using white text just so that it's easy to read. You also notice that this background is partially transparent. So if you want to make it more solid, increase the opacity setting in the background. So just get this to where you want it to be. And we can always zoom out a little bit with middle mouse scroll on the timeline, see where this is positioned for our video. And maybe we do want to pull it down. So you can always just adjust the position setting. And we're only going to need to change all of these things once because we can just copy and paste this text title to anywhere else we're going to put additional subtitle sentences for our video. If you want the corners to be more boxy rather than this curve, then take the corner radius and lower this. You can bring it all the way to zero if you want it to just be a pure rectangle or just a little bit beyond that if you just still want those curved corners. So for this title as it is right now, we'd only be able to add one line of subtitles. If I click in the text and we hit enter to add another line, then you can see that this goes outside of the bounds for our text. So you may want to take the height and increase this so that it's big enough to support two lines, something like that. Any more than that, and it's probably just time to create another copy of the title for new lines of text. You don't want to give people too much to read at the same time. And so now if you want to add an image icon, possibly over here to the left, uh, for the person who's speaking or just some other art graphic that you like for your videos, then you just need to drag the PNG onto the video track three, which I titled image icon earlier. So let's go ahead and bring in this sticker icon. So you can see it's going to be way too big on the screen right now. So we need to take this image as a video clip and lower the zoom to shrink it and then just change its position over here, negative X value, and then also a negative Y value to position it over here so that we can use that for our subtitles. Now, in this case, you may decide, okay, there's just too much space for the subtitles. So you can always go back to the title and shrink the width to maybe something like that. Take this image icon and reposition it. Okay, so just zoom out again, look at your full video, make sure it looks good. You might also want to test by adding in a actual line. So something like that, how to create custom subtitles with image and backgrounds. Uh, you can also see here that the text by default is centered. You may like that, you may not. If you want it to be left aligned, then just go to this alignment section in the inspector and left align it and just kind of make sure everything looks good. 
So now we have one of our subtitles created. If we want to reuse this, which of course we do across our video, you just need to select these two clips, control C to copy them, go to where you need to add another line, possibly snapping right in front, and then control V to paste them in. So now we have two copies here, and all we need to do is to change the text on the second copy of the title. So I just add a couple more lines there, and we have our subtitles. So let's go ahead and hit play. You can see our first text, and then we change it to the second text. So now you can add in any transitions you want between these clips, just like you would with the underlying video. So maybe you want it to fade the text. So let's go up to effects, video transitions, and I'll just add in a standard cross dissolve, just drag it on the border between the two copies of our text. Now, if we go here and hit space, we can see our text fading, but maybe you want to switch that to something else. Let's okay. So now that we have a couple copies of our subtitles, we can just go ahead and hit play, see how everything looks. Make sure it's switching correctly when we change the text here. And of course, if you want to customize anything for one area, maybe you need to add a third line, then uh, in your copy, you can just click on the text element, increase the height like that, and that should be fine. Otherwise, just copy your default template over again. And if you want to change the image, then you just need to replace it here on the timeline as well. So that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can create some simple subtitles that have a background and an image icon in DaVinci Resolve 18 for a little bit of extra style in your videos. Now, one thing I do want to point out, though, is that when you do it this way, the subtitles are going to be hard burned into your video because they are actually on the video track. So just keep in mind that these video tracks are part of the video. There wouldn't actually be a way to have images popped into the video for a subtitle like this if you were just using subtitle tracks. So that's going to be a trade off there, being able to have extra customization but not being able to toggle it on and off from the video like you would with a standard YouTube subtitle. So I've been Chris. Thank you for watching to the end. I hope you all found this helpful, and I will see you all in my future DaVinci Resolve content.